right, y'all, what's up? So this is what I call a standard fishing style planer. Uh, just rig normal where it actually goes out behind it. This is not a bridle style. There's a lot of videos on bridle. It's a little more advanced. Uh, I'm just going to kind of put out a quick, fast, simple on how to on this. So I'm going to show y'all how to build this. All right. Welcome, y'all. Welcome to Fishing Merle Beach. There you go. We 
fields or you can take old uh, fishing, excuse me, fishing line uh, spools. Don't throw those spools away. You can put this on the end of the spool and wind it up. I'm going to show you another way to do it in case you don't have any of those laying around. Take it. Hook it over there. And in a pinch, and the reason I say a pinch is because when you do this, you leave it on there, it'll get memory on it and it'll crink it. It'll have crinks on it when you put it out. But in a pinch, you can just wrap that line back around that plane. six foot and you ain't got nothing there. They make drone spoons, they make Clark spoons, they make them in different sizes. Um, honestly with the Clark spoons, as long as you don't get ridiculously big, size isn't really that important with a drone spoon it is. Um, drones are formed a little different. Um, they actually have size one, two, three, four, stuff like that. Uh, it's on the, the inches that they are. I run a double zero for my Clark for inshore uh, Spanish fishing. They make one that's a size or two bigger, I'll run that as well, and then they've got their, their biggest one, which said it. I run those for, uh, honestly, more of Anita than uh, Kings. I run the drones for Kings, and I absolutely love those three-inch uh, drones for Anita. If you haven't tried them, try them out. Uh, this is probably more of a beginner's video, so most people that's watching this, that'll be a, a little bit more of an advanced video. This is just something to kind of get started and get you out on the water and have a little bit of fun. And all you do is take the end of this, put it on there. Tie it around. Tie whatever knot you tie. Now, if you've never rigged one of these before, when you see the planer, you're going to see a hole at the front, and you're going to see this thing. This right here, this is what actually you hook your line from your rod. You just take another swivel and you hook it on. And you, when you put it in the water, you want this piece of metal to be all the way up at the top. When a fish hits it, what it does is it'll trip it. And when he trips it, it'll, put this, it'll shoot this up to the top of the water. So when it's underwater, it's going to have a lot of pressure on it, a lot of water pressure. So the pole's going to be bent over. Whenever he trips it, that pressure is going to come off and it's going to shoot at the top. Don't set the hook on this, all right? If you're fishing these, the secret is keep your rod tip up. And if you're fishing three lines or something, four lines, however your spread's running, do not cross this line over your other lines. Because what will happen is, is you've got another line down there working, and if this goes across that and it wraps, or if this line on the back with the fish on it wraps, hits it, it'll just wrap all the way up in the cigar roll. So the goal is to never let this line touch any other lines. Whatever fish is on, it's the dedicated line. Alright y'all, thanks for watching. Don't forget, please share, like, and subscribe. Peace.